Welcome to the first part of the series, Building Our Family Home. We are so excited to share this journey with you and can't wait to show you what we got done this week. Okay, guys, I'm starting this video out on my phone, so the quality's probably not as good as the camera would be. We are starting a series on the channel called Building Our family home this is part one we announced last video that we are building a house we're in our backyard right now we went on a walk so our house is really close to where we already live so we just went on a walk came to our house here it is here's the brick i don't think i ever showed you guys in the last video here's our brick it's not my favorite brick <laughs> that we picked out when there's like a low supply of supplies in the world, you have to just kind of go with the flow. We have a really big backyard, so um, it's gonna go, the fence is gonna go to about to this porta potty right here. We were just talking about things that we wanted to do with the house. Yeah, so where Connor is. So we were just talking about things that we were kind of wanting to do with the backyard. Um, maybe like put, this is our porch, so maybe put like a little swing up here or something. We're gonna have a swing set probably somewhere in here. Lots of changes have happened to the house, so I'll um, bring you in here to the house. So the kitchen, we have cabinets are coming in. These are the uppers. Got sheetrock, obviously. We have sheetrock. I'm sure it's echoing really bad in here. But Connor has been putting in all these doors. It's pretty dark in here, it's almost nighttime. Um, Connor's been putting in all these doors recently he is gonna try to film a little bit for this video um maybe tonight he wants to kind of come back and do some trim work so yeah everything is looking really good if you guys want like a full detailed um tour of what the house kind of the layout the floor plan is go to my last video i walked through the whole house uh, at the end of this i will do a fully furnished house tour before we start doing lots of the little fun projects and putting lots of color on the walls and doing the kids rooms and the playrooms and exciting like secret reveals of things that we haven't showed you guys with the house even though I know it's small but there are some cool things that we've been planning. We got a cabinet in the pooper room. The pooper room. This is the first cabinet installed. It is huge. So yeah, that's pretty much the update for what's going on in the house right now. We're gonna get to working on the house this week. Um, so I'll try to have a video out weekly or bi-weekly. I'm not sure what I can and like what I'm able to do, um, but we'll try to keep you updated like on a weekly basis of where like the house is and what we're doing and if we're picking out some things. I'll also try to include some things like packing up our current house and just fun stuff like that. So um, I'm excited to start this whole series on the channel and kind of just like migrate into what we're doing for the channel. Hey guys, so we are back at the house today. I wanted to try to do um, some packing, some decluttering. I just wanted to make sure that you guys get like the full um, experience of building a house because it also involves, you know, packing the house up, the current house that we live in, packing that up and decluttering and just making sure we get ready to um, move into our new house. So we probably have about, if I were to guess, six to eight weeks left. So that means we got a couple months to pack up our house and declutter our house, make sure we don't bring any unnecessary items into the new house. I've got sleepy little baby on me. I've got a toddler running around, so we'll see how much we can get done today.
see me a lot. I'm just gonna be doing a little work, time-lapse stuff. I'm not gonna be talking. This is just me saying welcome. I know you don't see me a lot. I know you love me the best. Um, but we're gonna get going on here. We already got some stuff in. I'll show you a little bit. I bet my kid will show you some too. In here, we got our lower cabinet set for the kids' bathroom. I'm gonna be doing the pocket door today, getting that installed. I'm gonna set this door right here. I'm gonna put that in. This is the best part. I love this. Boom! His, oh, his and her vanities. So this one sits like at my waist and then this one sits at like my lower leg. So this is McKenna's, this one's mine. We got them custom built so mine was a little taller because I'm tall, she's short, but that's what I'm gonna start doing today. I may be cutting a little bit, um, putting in some, putting in some closets, but that's gonna be the plan for now. So let's get going. already some things I wasn't sure what he showed you I just got vanities in today there's Connor's no <laughs> my vanity Connor's vanity so you can see the height difference Connor and I are a foot apart we're a foot different a literal foot exactly so here's mine so it's like my lower yeah. lower leg so that's just crazy we got Vanities specifically built to our heights because he's 6'1, I'm 5'1, and we're both, yeah, you're 6'1 and a quarter, and I'm 5'1 and a quarter. We are literally exactly one foot distance apart from each other. By the way, we don't have our kids right now, so that's kind of wonderful. <laughs> we're having a little date night. We're about to go look at some tile. I'll bring you guys to look some tile with us. Connor's just kind of showing me around on what's been going on. He said he Filmed a little bit over here. And then I put the pocket. I haven't seen this. Yeah, this Have is. I? No. I haven't no. seen this. This is the kids' vanities. Yeah, it looks good. One, two, and then three drawers. And then I put this <gasps> Nice! A little pocket door. Yep. We still gotta, you gotta do a lot of trim on this one, but. Because you could do this and it could like. like oh, swing out. oh so yeah. Do we don't wanna do that. But I, I, you, I installed it. So all I did was nail yeah. on. Nice. Or your closet rods right? are gonna hang. So you'll have a support there. You said I was gonna take you a month to do trim work and you're almost done. You know how much baseboard I gotta lay? Oh, I kinda forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all this baseboard Connor's gonna have to come in and do. I gotta cut That'll it. That'll be a fun video. It.
did a little bit of thrifting today for the built-ins mostly. Um, so the built-ins are gonna be beside the fireplace in the house. I've just been kind of looking for some like cute decorations and stuff that we can put in there. And so I wanted to go thrifting today and just kind of look for some things. I found a ton of cute things. So I got this little vase, which I thought would be really cute, a little brass vase. Maybe put some kind of greenery or something in here. Found this adorable little picture frame. Um, I can kind of show you guys as well, like some of my inspiration pictures for the house. I don't think I did that in the last video. I think I said I was going to and then I never did. So you can kind of like get to know sort of like the vibe that I'm like going for. Um, I don't really even know. It's like a vintage -y style, transitional style. I don't really even know like the style that I'm going for, but it's just really cute. I found this adorable mirror, just this little skinny mirror. I thought it was so cute. It would go super cute on a like a collage wall with some like picture frames. I found a ton of picture frames. Um, some things I may or may not keep the whatever is like in here I may not keep. Um, but I found some like wooden picture frames and some gold picture frame, or I think just one gold picture frame actually. So I found this little matching pair, thought was super cute for the house. I found this gold frame, which I thought would be really cute in the built-ins. And then I found this. I thought this would go super cute as like a little set, kind of like that. I thought that'd be really cute together. Um, so got those, and then I got a couple of like basket type things. I got this basket, which I may just like put in mine and Connor's bathroom. I'm not really sure. I just thought it was super cute. Um, and then I found this little brass basket thing. I don't really know what it is. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Um, I thought maybe it would look good like propped up like this. It kind of looks like a communion tray now the more that I look at it, but um, I may keep it like this. I'm not really sure. Yeah, this definitely looks like a communion tray. I may not keep this. Um, I don't really know. It really wasn't. It was $3, so not a total loss. Um, this stuff, which I've showed you two of the things in here, but this little clock, I can't really pick up because it has glass top so got this little clock it doesn't work and it's very very gold so I was thinking about trying to somehow um, kind of make this look more like antique -y. I don't know how I'm gonna do that I'll probably have to figure something out but that'll be cute and then I found this basket as well I thought this might be cute in the kids playroom as like a toy basket or like stuffed animal basket or something I just couldn't pass it up it's very sturdy so um, I decided to get that as well. Got this cute little basket, and right now I just put it to hold our um, remotes here in the house, so um, I thought that was so cute. I spent $45 on everything that I got, which is pretty good for the amount of stuff that I got. It was a ton of stuff. I'm ex really excited about the picture frame. I'm excited to kind of do like a little collage wall in the house. I think that'll be super fun and cute. Connor and I were looking at tile the other day we picked out which i think i showed you guys the tile that i had picked out that's going to be the tile for the fireplace so we're going to just put like a square of tile around the fireplace and then the rest is just going to be like a painted wall and then we also picked out square tiles for the shower in our master bathroom because in the kids bathroom in the guest bathroom it's just going to be like a fiberglass tub which you've already seen so we don't need any tile or anything like that um, we got some shelving some like ceramic shelving for our shampoo and conditioner um you like tile you like put it in like tile i think and so we got two of those for like our shampoo and conditioner and uh, body wash and razors and all that stuff so we got two little shelves for that that is the end of part one of this building our new home series so next week we'll pick up part two. We've got lots of exciting things. Cabinets should be um, finished being put in next week. Connor is gonna try to finish the trim next week and got lots more other exciting things that we're gonna do. I'm excited uh, for next week. Make sure you are subscribed and have your bell notification on so you don't miss that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. So we have a really big backyard. Um, that's not our fence, but- Hey, go in it. He's Hi. playing with the porta potty. Hi. Let's put it in there and see. Put it in there very lightly because if you squish it, it's not going to work. Other way, babe. <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't done this in a long time. 
She fell asleep. <gasps> she was so sleepy. Mm -hmm.